I am Mike Norm from the Trinity Force Podcast Network, GG Gaming. Uh, I am here with Rob, the publisher for Sombrero. Hi, Rob. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. So tell me a little bit about Sombrero. Well, Sombrero, it's a two to four player uh, spaghetti western themed shooter. Um, basically, you know, you're, you're going up against uh, a bunch of players. You're, you're using twin stick style to move around, shoot, jumping around in different levels uh, with different tiers. Um, it's uh, actually developed by uh, a developer named Nick Robleck. He's out of uh, New York, and his company is Pixel Metal. And pretty much he put the whole thing together himself, other than the soundtrack. So he's been working on it while he can, uh, when he could, for the past two or three years. And uh, we had seen him at the shows. We liked the game. We got talking to him. And as a, you know, my company, Alliance Digital Media, we're a publisher, and we're like, hey, what do you need to get to the finish line? And so basically he's like, you know, QA support, marketing, some financial support so he can focus on the game and get it out there. So that's where we came up with a deal. And we, we've been kind of pushing to do that, to you know, bring more indies into our company and, and partner up with them just to get, uh, you know, a good, uh, have a good stamp in that, in that community. And because uh, we're all gamers at my company and we love, we love indie games. So that's why we're here. We're showing off Sombrero. Uh, Nick Nick couldn't be here today, so I'm I'm here to you know talk about his game and get people playing, and hopefully they they have a great time. So as a publisher, tell me what you look for in a game like Sombrero when you bring them on. Well, you know it has to do with uh, you know first and foremost, is it fun? Does it does it you know the people we work with? Does it attract their attention? Is there something special about it? Um, you know there are a bunch of different factors. Is the art style appealing? Um, but if we're like sitting there and we're playing it and, and we're laughing and we're enjoying ourselves or we're immersed in a game uh, and talking about it days later, then we know it's something that, you know, it's going to resonate with other people. So we kind of, we go through, you know, go, go to the different conventions. We've been to, uh, you know, PAX East, GDC. I was just at E3. We check out all the games. We talk to people. You know, we find out what's going on, what's new, what's fresh. And then uh, we kind of get demos sent to us or, um, you know, any press materials. And then we kind of have like a you know committee that kind of discusses, plays, and if there's something that seems like a good fit for us, then we continue that conversation and see if there's a deal that can work out, what kind of support do they need, uh, and what way can we help them? Because if it, there's a game that needs you know just a little more support to get out the door, then we want to we want to do that, and that's uh, that's kind of our, our initiative right now in the in the indie the indie uh, field. Cool. Now, what specifically attracted you guys to Sombrero? Oh, it's just, it's fun. <laughs> it's straight up fun. I mean, it's a it's a two to four player multiplayer game, uh, harking back to you know the days of sitting on a couch playing Goldeneye, but this is more of a two D plane shooter. Be shot, uh, capture the flag, different kinds of modes. It'll be online multiplayer as well, but you know just having that the, that time when you're used to sit with your friends and punch each other because you're angry because they're beating you. You know, so it's one of those type of games. It also has a spaghetti western theme. It's kind of quirky, kind of weird, kind of crazy. Uh, different characters uh, that you can choose from, different weapons. Uh, it's just a fun time. It, it, it's very chaotic, a lot of mayhem, a lot of explosions. Uh, you'll see uh, huge explosions, and then after the dust settles, nobody might not be anybody alive. So it, it's fun like that. Cool. Now, uh, being a publisher and seeing a lot of different games, can you maybe tell like a good story about a game that you played that wasn't so good? Without throwing any shade or naming any specifics. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there are a few. Um, you know, I, I mean, if your game doesn't have something, I would just say, you know, thinking of, I can't think of specifics, but, well, yeah, maybe a couple. But, you know, if, you, if there's something, you know, if you're very passionate about your project, I would never tell someone to stop. But I would say still send it to us because we do get feedback, even if it's not something that we're going to pursue. If your game just doesn't have that extra flavor, that extra spice, then you know what are you trying to achieve other than to be lost in a sea of other games? Um, so I think I think it's always good to think outside the box, but also think what what are people going to want to play? What you know, I, maybe not always in the indie indie scene that you know selling is the biggest thing, but you want to get your game out, you want people to play it. Selling is part of it, and that's where we come in with marketing. Try to get the exposure your game needs, um, but yeah, you know, some games we get they're it's pretty vanilla, and you know, we try to give them some advice. Be like, maybe try this a little bit. Try this a little different. You know, cool. So, where can people learn more about Sombrero? 
Uh, you can go to alliancedigitalmedia.com. Uh, you can go to sombrerogame.com. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at, at we make games, and uh, you can follow the developer at, at, at Pixel Metal. Uh, and that's, uh, that's where you find a lot of information about the titles and other titles we're publishing. Cool. Well, thanks for taking the time to meet with me today. This has been Mach and Norm from the Journey Force Podcast Network. We will see you soon.